we're going to explore the use of more advanced creation tools. Starting with using compound objects. You will find that inside compound objects, many of the functions, you can't quite just click on it and create from there. We need to have things already created before we can use this command further. So let's just go ahead and use the standard primitives to create something first. In this case, I am going to start by creating a wall using a box command and using further box commands to create openings like windows and doors. So let's just start with creating a box with the length of this part will describe the thickness of the walls here, all right? So we're going to start with, let's say, using 200. And then we're going to use, uh, let's say, 5 meters for the walls and 3 meters for the wall height. Now, it will be good practice to make sure we center the objects we have created, all right? just by using these commands here and using the zoom all extends selected for this. Okay, so this would create our first piece of wall here. Next, I'm going to create the opening for it, like a door opening, for example. All right, so with this here and our extrude, and we will see this one can be any thickness. So I'll just put it in as, let's say, one meter and then one meter for the opening of the door and the height of the door opening to be 2.2 meters 2200 here and then with this i will again use the move command to center the location again this way okay Now with this, I am now going to use the subtract command to create a door opening. So I'm going to select the wall and then go to compound objects. Once you find that you have created something and have it selected, you will be able to see a lot of all these commands being activatable. So we're going to start with using the Pro Boolean tool here. So we click on this. And then to avoid getting confused over the user interface, I strongly recommend that we minimize a lot of these headers here, leaving only perhaps the Pick Boolean as well as the Parameters headers activated. Now let's take a look at this. We mainly use these couple of commands like union, intersection, and subtraction. So let's just start with using the subtraction command first. With this, after we activated the subtraction command, so we will click on the start picking button. And now we're going to pick on the cutting object, which is the box here. You notice that once you click on this, the cavity is now opened. Let me just undo this again and show you some other variations here. With this, there are also other sub options within here. For example, we can use the imprint okay, sub option here if we wish to we wish to leave an imprint mark of the door opening on the wall surface itself instead of a cut through. So let's just show you an example here. Okay, let's turn on the edge faces. You see that there is now, okay, once we use this imprint option, the door imprint marks are being shown here. Okay, I'll undo this again. 
compared to let's say if we leave this one okay we leave this option unchecked then when we pick this now it is a straight 